Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing a fantasy rebuild of the Buffalo Bills. And all you Bills fans, Bills Mafia, thank me in the comments right now for what I'm about to do with this team. I'm going to lead them to the playoffs, to many Super Bowls. Just thank me already. Let's hop into it. I am trading Josh Allen, Deion Dawkins, and Micah Hyde to the Chargers for Derwin James. Now I'm trading Jordan Poyer in a fourth round pick to the Chargers for their first round pick. I am trading Cole Beasley, Jerry Hughes, and a second round pick to the Packers for Aaron Rodgers. I'm trading a third, a second round pick, and Butler to the Broncos for Reisner. I'm trading a third and fourth round pick and Jake Fromm to the Colts for Quentin Nelson. I'm trading Josh Norman, our fullback, at a right end to the Saints for first round pick so we ended up with an 82 overall team 84 offense 80 defense and i think we'll be pretty good to go we might not make the playoffs this year but after this year i think we're gonna go on a nice run let's go to the playoffs. will you look at that we made the playoffs at 11 and 5 i love it the pats 8 and 8 the dolphins 7 and 9 and the jets 6 and 10 take a look at the stats rogers 4300 yards 32 touchdowns nine interceptions awesome Singletary 981, 18 touchdowns. Give him Quentin Nelson, he goes off. Diggs 1100 yards, five touchdowns. Brown 838 with 10. Smith 669 with two. Roberts has five as well. On defense, Edmonds 138 tackles, fantastic. Sack total seven for Epinenza, six for Murphy, two and a half for Addison. Interceptions two for Milano, two for James, two for Gaines. And a lot of ones to go around. Now for yearly awards, Matt Ryan with the MVP. Any bills, we have Rodgers at seven. Coach of the year, number two with Sean McDermott. Offensive player of the year, we have Aaron Rodgers at two. No other bills. Defensive player of the year, probably no one. Offensive rookie, we have Singletary at four. Defensive rookie of the year, nothing. I imagine Singletary has so much XP, only three, but that does get him up to an 87 overall. Diggs has two, Nelson with two, Reisner has two as well. And on defense, Oliver with four, Edmonds with three, Derwin James with two, Tredavious White only with one though. A little rough. Can we beat the nine and seven Denver Broncos? Yes, we can, but can we beat the 12 and four Baltimore Ravens? Get to the AFC Championship game? Nope, and we got blown out 35 to 13. That is rough. Aaron Rodgers getting blown out like that. Kind of embarrassing if you ask me. The Packers are going on quite a run as well. I mean, they have Jordan Love, so not that unexpected. Jackson, 175, three touchdowns. Rodgers, come on. 270, one touchdown, two interceptions. Ingram, 90 with a touchdown. Edwards with a touchdown. Receiving Singletary, 73 with a touchdown. Brown, 72 with a touchdown. Boykin with a touchdown and a touchdown for J.K. Dobbins. The Ravens took down the Bears, 42 to 35. Now, Wallace is going to be a free agent. He's definitely coming back. Spain could go foster. What do we have for money? I think the Bills have a ton of money, right? Only 22.8. Who has all the money on this team? Maybe Rodgers because we traded for him. Nelson maybe as well and Derwin James. That could, you know, that could explain it. So we have 21.29. I want to find out if we can cut anybody on this team. We must be able to. Nelson not doing that, obviously. Rodgers not doing that. Brown, no. Tyler Croft, goodbye so long. I know he's 27 years old. Uh, I guess not. I don't know if we're going to be able to find anything better than that, so we'll just hold on to him for now. Let's go see who we can pick up for free agency. Chris Jones should be here. We're not going to do that. Hunt, we're not going to do. McCourty, not for how much we're going to have to pay him. I actually think... Well, let's bring in Pascal. Let's bring in Pascal. 92 points for the Saints. Let's go seven. Let's go 3.62. A little much. 106 beats him out. Let's make a play for Gus Edwards as well. Uh, four years is a lot. Two years, 3.6, 1.74 though. That should work out perfectly. We got Edwards and Pascal perfect. I believe we have three first round picks in the draft. So we have the 16th pick, the 26th pick, and what else? Probably 32. 27 so 26 and 27 i'll take that we don't need a strong safety we could throw him over to free safety if we wanted to same thing for lofton who i think and eh, maybe he's not better his combine's way better but i don't think that matters all too much late first no i mean cheney looks like a beast we'll wait on that as well there's a guard we can wait on even though we don't need that free safety early first andrew stimson he's a 79 overall with hidden development ranked number one 
94 speed, 70 zone, 70 tackle, 75 pursuit. There's nothing left on our draft board. I really wanted that left tackle too. Bunch of quarterbacks. We don't need that right now. We are going to need that eventually. I know we have Ed Oliver, but I feel like Corona, that might get me flagged now, but I feel like that might be a good pick. Late third. What about the tight end? Late first. Let's go Kerry Harrell, the tight end. 74 overall normal development. It's not a great pick because he's not hidden. And then we're definitely going to go for that name I'm not going to say again. I really do feel like my video is going to get flagged now. Might have to bleep that out or something. There we go. Defensive tackle. He's a 72 overall with normal development. I'm trading Phillips, our defensive tackle, Matt Barkley, and a fifth round pick to the Chargers for a first round pick. I'm trading our defensive tackle star and John Brown to the Pats for a first round pick. So now we have an 83 overall team, 84 offense, 83 defense. We need a right tackle really bad. But other than that, on offense, we're looking good. And then on defense, we do have to work on the outside linebackers, at least the left outside linebacker, and probably a left end eventually. Other than that, I think we're good. To the playoffs. I feel like we made our team better, but we missed the playoffs. Doesn't really make sense. We went 5-11. and 11. The Pats went 9-7. and seven. We do have their first round pick. What? Just because we came John Brown? Is that the difference? Rodgers, 4,200 yards, 28-10. and 10. Singletary, 1,000 with 10. A little bit of a drop-off. Receiving Diggs, 1,200 yards, 3 touchdowns. Pascal, 858 touchdowns. Croft, 725 with 10. Singletary, no touchdowns. Really? On defense, Mulatto 121 tackles, Edmonds 107. Sack totals, 7 for Epinenza, 7 for Oliver, 2.5 for Milano. Interceptions, 3 for James, 2 for Johnson, and a few ones to go around. Stimson, though, 80 tackles, 1 interception. Pretty good for a rookie. MVP, Andrew Luck, of course. Anybody from the Bills? No. Coach of the year, Mike Tomlin. Offensive play of the year, Andrew Luck. No Bills. Defensive play of the year, Dante Hightower. No Bills, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Harold at 6, Ross at 8, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Stims is going to take it home. Brian at number 4, we're just got, we're not going to say that name anymore, we're not word anymore, you know, let's just avoid that for now. What do we have for XP, 2 for Nelson, 1 for Diggs and Singletary, 2 for Cody 4 as well. On defense, Stims in star development, 4 XP points, Brian has 3 right here, and I believe now we're just good to go. Let's go to see if Pino is going to win the Super Bowl. The Ravens took down the Bears again, 38-31. to Incredible. Tredavious White's a free agent. He's coming back. Milano's coming back. Yeldon, no. What do we have for money? Because this is a little concerning. We have to pay Tredavious White a lot of money, I assume. Actually, we have a good amount. That's good. We have $40 million in cap space. We need an outside linebacker. We need an end. Interesting. I bring in Patrick Mahomes all the time, so I kind of don't want to do that. But at the same time, I definitely do. Let's bring in Lattimore. I almost want to bring in Awuze as well. Najoku's up there. We're going to spend a little bit of cash this offseason. Najoku for four years. What about Lawson or McKinley? They both have offers, but I want them on my team so bad. He's a scheme fit as well. What if we offer him four, go up to $7 million and 3.7? 42.6, 100 total points, beat the Panthers by four. I think I am going to make a play at Patrick Mahomes. Maybe not, because we're going to have to pay him so much money. Let's just go for Lattimore. We'll deal with Aaron Rodgers. 90 total points. Anybody else that's not getting an offer that I can just throw him some cash? Um... No, we're good. We got Lawson, Lattimore, and Njoku. Perfect. To the draft. So we have pick four and pick seven. I want to find out what the Heisman is for position. He is a strong safety, so we don't need that. I actually am going to go pick by pick. I'm always interested to find out where they go. He's not going to the Jaguars. Is he going to the Redskins, maybe? No, is he going to the Eagles then? No, so he still could be there. I'm not going to take him. Doesn't really make sense. We could trade back, which I am definitely interested in, even though the Ravens are going on a run right now. Let's actually see what we're looking at here. There's a quarterback. There's some ends, but we're fine. Tight end, we're fine. Whew. Mid first. What was this one? Izzo. Mid first, who I think might be a little bit better. Well, it's a little bit of a toss up. There's a tackle as well. I'm going to go. 
I'm going to go Brad Izzo. He's a 74 overall, hidden development, 76 tackles, 79 hit power, 83 speed, 81 acceleration. Now, at pick number seven, Ron Lewis is still there. So is the tackle. We have to go Edward Volk. You just have to. He's a 78 overall Noma development because this game hates me. 92 strength, 72 run block, 83 pass block. This is our final pick in the first round. We could go a running back. Actually, is the Heisman still there? Probably not at this point. No. So what are we really going to go with here? I'm not taking a running back. The corner doesn't look that bad. Right guard. Running back looks like a beast, but we just don't need that. Smiley, but we're fine at defensive tackle. Interesting. There's really nothing here. I think I am going to take that running back. No, because we have Gus Edwards. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to go Smiley, the defensive tackle. I, I know we don't need it, but 75 overall hidden development. 89 strength, 76 block shed, 70 power move, 79 finesse. So now we have an 85 overall team, 87 offense, 84 defense. I love the way the offensive line's looking. The receivers, quarterback is regressing with Aaron Rodgers, but we'll deal with that. And on defense, it looks like just like in real life, they're just going to put to the side for a little bit. Maybe he'll come back later. We're going to have to wait and see, put on a mask, find out what's going to happen. But we have Smiley starting at defensive tackle. And we're looking pretty good, I would say. Let's go to the playoffs. There we go. First round by. We went 10 and 6, tied with the Pats. Jets 9 and 7, the Dolphins 6, 9 and 1. Rodgers 4,600 yards. 33 and 10, pretty good, I would say. Singletary 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Receiving. Diggs 1,200 yards, almost 13 with 6 touchdowns. Najoku 979 with 4. Pascal 906 with 3. Hall 9 touchdowns. On defense, Edmonds 125 tackles. Sacks, 15 and a half for Epinenza, 11 and a half for Smiley, 6 for Lawson. Interceptions, 2 for Edmonds, Thompson, Wallace, and White, 1 for Lattimore, 1 for Derwin James. The Yearly Awards, Elliott with the MVP, wow. Rodgers at 8, Coach of the Year. We're at number 10, AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Josh Allen winning it, Andrew Luck at 2, Rodgers 3. No Singletary Defensive Player of the Year, we have Edmonds at 7. Offensive Rookie of the Year, nothing. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Smiley's going to take it. Izzo at three. Awesome. What do we have for XP? Nothing really on offense other than Volk has three. That's good. It'll be an 81. And on defense, Izzo has superstar development. Smiley has star development. So we're in great shape there. I think I'm going to draft another outside linebacker. Then our defense will be beastly. Can we beat the 10-6 and six Cleveland Browns? I have a little bit of worries about that because it's Madden's favorite team. Yeah. 21 to nothing. Aaron Rodgers, you are a bum. Grade A bum. He bet if he has two interceptions, he's gone. Promise. Wow. I didn't even know that. You played so bad. What is going on right now? Rodgers is holding our team back. It's embarrassing. The Saints beat the Red Dragons 43 to 36. Quentin Nelson is going to be a free agent. He's definitely coming back. Diggs, yes. James, Edmonds. Huh. This is going to be pretty expensive. What do we have for cash? A good amount, but probably nothing for free agency. Now, I believe we only have one first round pick. Yeah, because I didn't trade anybody. We could. I actually wish I didn't advance right there. We probably could have traded Aaron Rodgers for somebody. Some sort of first-round pick. Is there going to be a quarterback here? There is. There's our quarterback of the future, Daniel Mills. He's a 73 overall with hidden development. 88 throw power, 80 deep accuracy, 82 medium, 86 short. Look at this receiver in the second round and far. Might take him. Anybody else? This draft class is pretty bad, I would say. Let's go Whitworth. Why not? He's a, oh, wow, 69 overall, not good. I'm trading Aaron Rodgers and a third-round pick to the Giants for a first-round pick. So now we're looking at an 86 overall team, 89 offense, 84 defense. If Mills can step up, we should be able to go on a nice little run here. So let's go to the playoffs and find out. Another first-round bye. We went 10-6, and six. awesome. Pats 9-7, Dolphins 8-8, eight and, eight, and the Jets 3-12-1. Mills, 4,000 yards, 30 and 7, awesome rookie year. Rushing, Singletary, 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Edwards has 7 as well. 
Receiving Njoku 911 with 6, Diggs 855 with 6, Pascal 701 with 7, Peoples Jones has 4 as well. On defense, Izzo 106 tackles, Evans with 100. Sack totals 12 for Epidenza, 9 for Smiley, 7.5 for Lawson. Interceptions 4 for White, 2 for Evans, 2 for Johnson, and a few ones to go around. Now for yearly awards, what do we got? Lamar Jackson with the MVP. No Bills. Is Rodgers up here? He is not. Coach of the Year, Zach Taylor. We're at number six. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. There's Mills at number eight. I want to see, is Rodgers going to be up here? He's not. Okay, good. Defensive Player of the Year. No Bills. Offensive Rookie Mills. We knew that. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Probably nothing. Yeah, a lot of Jaguars and Raiders up here, though. Come on, Mills. Have Superstar or X Factor. Superstar X Factor. 7 XP. Awesome. Two for Njoku. One for Pascal. On defense, four for Izzo. Three for Smiley. Three for Epinenza. Two for St or Stimson, rather, as well. Can we beat the 11-5 Baltimore Ravens? Get to the AFC Championship game. Of course not. We lost 34 to 20. We have one year left. And I really did think well, this, this was going to be our year. I don't know. Let's go look at the stats. Jackson, 311, two touchdowns. Mills, 260, two touchdowns, one interception. Ingram, 56, two touchdowns. Receiving Jones, 138 with a touchdown. Robinson with a touchdown. Aguilar with a touchdown. Najoku with a touchdown. The Cardinals beat the Ravens, 28 to 24. Ed Oliver is going to be a free agent. We'll bring him back. Singletary at Penenza. Morse, no. Reisner, yes. Johnson, yes. Ford, yes. Oh, boy. What do we have for cash? Not much. Now, we have two first-round picks. The first one is pick 12. We need an outside linebacker. I think we need a corner and then maybe a center because Mitch Morris is gone. So, number 12 and number 25. And then we don't have a third, right? But we have a second-round pick. I mean, there's a quarterback. They're not going to take that, obviously. Her seems pretty good. There's a guard. We can move him over to center if we wanted to. There's a center, but he doesn't look all that great. Let's look at the guard and then the center, or the corner, rather. See where they're projected to go. Early first, Flemings, welcome aboard. 76 overall, hidden development, wow. 87 strength, 64 run block, 82 pass block. With my other first round pick, I think I'm going to take Dion Bowen. Let's take him. He's a 72 overall, hidden development. 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 78 catching, 72 catch of traffic. Now, with our second round pick, I think what I want to do, I really like this middle linebacker a lot. I guess he is an early first, so let's take him. He's a 75 overall with hidden, 81 speed, 86 tackle, 80 block shed, 81 hit power. Heading into our final year, we have an 89 overall team, 91 offense, 88 defense. If we don't make the playoffs now, I think I might lose my mind. I am going to cut Butler so Bowen can be our number three receiver. And on defense, still a weak and outside linebacker, but that's fine. Let's go to the playoffs. There's no possible way we don't make the playoffs. We went 6-9-1 with an 88 overall team. What are you talking about? Mills, 3,600 yards, 26-9, and nine, so a little bit of a drop-off. Singletary, 1,100 yards with eight. Receiving Diggs, 867, four touchdowns. Bowen, 796 with 10, the rookie. Awesome. Pascal, 730 with five. Najoku has two. On defense, Edmonds, 128 tackles. Lattimore and Izzo with 100. Sack totals, nine and a half for Epinenza, eight and a half for Smiley, five for Oliver, four and a half for Lawson. Interceptions, four for Wallace, two for James and White, one for Izzo, one for Edmonds. Oh, man, I don't know. I just don't really understand it. Elliot with the MVP. No Bills. Coach of the year. We wouldn't be up there. Offensive player of the year. Nothing. Defensive player. Nothing. Offensive rookie. Bowen's going to take it home. That's good. Defensive rookie of the year. Vincent at six. Hi. I really just don't know what to think about this. Because I feel like we should have walked into the playoffs with a first round bye at like 12 and four. Made it to the AFC Championship at least. Flemings with star development, four XP points. Mills is up to an 84 overall. Bowen has star. How much XP does he have? Six. Pretty good. What about the middle linebacker? Gibson has five star development. So who did I draft? Stimson, Gibson, Izzo's up the superstar X Factor. Smiley, pretty good on defense. And on offense, we obviously got Flemings. We got Mills. We got Bowen. We actually got Harold over here who's a 79, about to be an 80 in Volk right here. 
So I feel like I built a pretty good team. Bills fans might not be that mad at me if they are. Not too surprising, but they shouldn't be. But hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Come on back for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.